No bold detailing. Honor and integrity. Call or text 585-993-1636. We found out after school had let out on a Friday that we weren't coming back and that Monday we were already teaching online. COVID forced schools nationwide to shut their doors when it first hit hard almost a year ago, with most schools having no plan in place of how to proceed. It's almost as though we're teaching on the moon all of a sudden and, and just said, you know, you're going to have a lot of questions when you get in there. Good luck. Schools were scrambling to find a way to teach their students from a safe distance with dramatically different degrees of success. While some made smoother transitions, others had a very bumpy go of it. For many schools, just getting the devices students needed to go virtual proved a challenge that had to be overcome quickly. One Baton Rouge charter school used their buses to distribute both laptops and lunches to families. All right, thank you. No problem, there we go. For others, the uncertainty of when schools would reopen prompted tens of thousands of students to switch to the nation's most established online schools, such as K-12. You don't have to sit in a live session, nor is it appropriate to have a five or six year old sitting in Zoom from eight to three every day, just doing passive learning. And then came the boom of innovative learning pods with parents pooling resources to hire their own teachers to provide a safe in-person learning environment. Being in the classroom for a few hours, wearing masks, six feet apart, that just didn't feel like enough of a normal learning environment to kind of just leave it there. So we're supplementing with interaction with a, a trained teacher. But for some students, especially those with special needs, adjusting to the new reality has been extremely tough. When we talk to them now, we go, oh my God, what happened? He's doing self-talk and, you know, hiding in the corner or under the desk and now doesn't want to get on the screen. It's it's. It's very frustrating. The frustration is also being felt by the 5 million English as a second language learners. Well, many of our students are living in small cramped quarters. Teachers may understand better than anyone how hard this has been on some students, and many of those teachers have hit their breaking point. It's a lot on the teacher. Oh, excuse me. I haven't cried in like two weeks about it. So here it is, it's all pent up. The full impact of the pandemic is yet to be determined, but without a doubt, and almost in every way, COVID has changed education in America. Kim Martinez reporting.